Hello, I'm Manny Mendez and I'm with Bobo Middle School Abbott. Today we are here in, to interview Mr. Dice on his college experience. So where did you end up going to college? Um, well, I got my undergraduate degree from the University of Wisconsin, La Crosse, which I'm repping right here. Um, I have a, a degree from Cal State University Northridge and Cal State University Channel Islands. Okay, what did you consider when you picked up your college campus? Boy, um, talking specifically about where I got my undergraduate degree, my four-year school, um, I looked at the programs that they had to offer, the majors that they had, because different schools have different majors. Um, UW Lacrosse has a very strong uh, fitness and, and sports program, and I really wanted to get into uh, something along those lines, like a job where I can have fun, but then get paid at the same time. So I looked a lot at the majors, also how far away it was from home. So it was four hours away, not too far, but still close enough where I could go home really if I wanted to. Okay. If you had to share one piece of advice to middle school students, um, what should they know if they are considering college after high school? Sure. Um, hopefully everybody is considering college because that should be something that everybody can do. What I would say is the skills that you are learning right now in middle school, like the organization and the ability to take notes and, and all of those things, not so much like the actual knowledge. The knowledge is really important but all of those skills that you're learning at the same time, those are gonna carry on for high school and then for college, right? Writing your agenda. I, I had an agenda in college that was even more important because I had five, six classes and a part-time job and all these things I had to juggle. So you have to be very, very organized. So I would practice taking notes, staying organized, using agendas, being able to communicate with people a lot of college is working in groups and collaborating with people. Those are skills that you can start building in middle school. Okay. Hi, my name is Avery. Uh, college can be very expensive, so how did you afford it? That's a great question, Avery. Um, I was able to get student loans, so that's one option. Um, that I filled out a form called the FAFSA with my mom. And it's money that I have to pay back but I couldn't afford to do it otherwise. So I got some student loans. Um, I worked part-time on campus, you know? Uh, so in between classes, I also ran track. So I had to juggle track and field in my classes, but then I refereed volleyball probably four nights a week at a couple different places. So I worked part-time. Um, another benefit was that my father was, uh, was in the Navy, and there are definitely benefits um, to having uh, somebody in your family that was in the military. So those are some things that you can look at as well. There are also a lot of tough academic, academics. Yeah. How did you handle them? Um, academics, yeah. Uh, I think with academics, you kind of had to really examine um, what's called the syllabus and know what the expectations of, of the teachers are. And then obviously you want to do the best you can to meet those expectations. Um, so I had to be able to manage my time really well. Uh, so that, you know, when a college professor assigns an assignment, they say, okay, now go home and read chapter two. And it's like 50 pages that you have to read in two days, right? So that's where, you know, you gotta have a little bit of discipline and where those time management skills to say, okay, I'm gonna set aside this chunk of time tonight to start working on this assignment. Oh, but then I can't forget that I have a meeting with a group from a different class that I'm doing this on. So it certainly is rigorous, but I think if you manage your time, uh, if you stay committed, you can do it. Hi, I'm Howard. In what three ways did going to college affect your life? Okay, good question, Howard. Um, uh, number one, I think college makes you grow up really fast, right? Because one minute you're living at home with your parents and they're doing everything for you, but then the next minute, you know, for me, I was 250 miles away and I'm like, oh, I gotta do laundry. Oh, I gotta find out where I'm gonna get my dinner. Oh, you know, I gotta go and pay for this. So it makes you grow up really fast, I think. Um, another thing is that I think it, it, it helps you to kind of uh, prioritize and figure out what you wanna do with your life because college isn't cheap. So if you're gonna spend all this time and money, and you're like, well, I gotta make it worth it. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not gonna spend thousands of dollars and then not get that degree. It's like, well, I'm paying for this. I'm putting in all this time and effort. Let's really figure out what's important to me, okay? Um, and then I think a, a third thing um, that college really helped me uh, to realize is that 
just the ability to communicate with people on lots of different levels, right? Whether it's through email with a professor or a classmate, uh, or whether it's, it's actually talking to a professor, or whether it's talking to somebody at the financial aid office, or talking to somebody in admissions. You, it really helped me to learn how to communicate effectively with people, I think, because coming in out of high school, it's like, well, I'm just a kid, everything is put in front of me, and here, do this. Whereas now it's like, well, if you want something, you have to go get it. And then you've got to be able to get that across to the person that you're speaking to. And it's, it's people from all walks of life and people with different backgrounds. Share a favorite memory from college. Oh boy, that's, that's a tough one. Um, I, uh, I did run track and field. We had a pretty good team. So we were national champions for a couple of years. So that was really exciting. But probably one of my favorite memories was um, I had the ability to see a, a couple uh, people speak, right? Um, there was a poet named Maya Angelou before she passed away, so I was able to sit in and, and listen to one of her speeches and presentations, and that was amazing, you know? Uh, and it was cool to be able to share that experience with all the other people in the room, because it wasn't just this, you know, it, it kind of was like she was speaking to me, but we were collectively sharing that same experience. Uh, and then I was also able to hear um, one of our presidents, Bill Clinton, came to our university. So I was able to sit in and listen to his speech and, and just kind of hear the, the production for that. And, and those are two things that I'll never forget, most definitely. So. Thank you, go to college.